Saturn V, film report number 20, covers progress period December 1st, 1967 through February 29th, 1968. At the beginning of the quarter, the second Saturn V flight vehicle stood fully erected in the Kennedy Space Center's vehicle assembly building, with checkout underway for a scheduled launch next quarter. Checkout of the AS-502, which was developed under direction of the Marshall Space Flight Center, proceeded throughout December and January with no major problems encountered. AS-502 will serve as launch vehicle for the Apollo 6 mission, an unmanned flight to qualify the Saturn V for future manned flights. Rollout of the 36-story tall space vehicle from the assembly building to Pad A of Launch Complex 39 was accomplished without incident on February 6th. The rollout operation, a three-mile movement requiring some seven hours, placed AS-502 in the launch position from which its predecessor, AS-501, began its successful flight last November 9th. The 502 mission will be essentially the same as that of the 501, evaluation of launch vehicle and spacecraft performance. AS-502 will carry several minor modifications directed by the Marshall Center as a result of data provided by the initial launch. Final updated versions of both the flight and ground program tapes for the computerized countdown and launch were delivered to KSC by the Marshall Center in early February. During the 10-hour Earth orbital Apollo 6 mission, a five-and-a-half-minute S-4B stage second burn will duplicate that of an actual lunar mission. However, the Apollo spacecraft, after separation from the S-4B stage, will be limited to an apogee of 12,000 nautical miles by a four-minute braking burn of its propulsion system. From its apogee, the spacecraft will simulate lunar mission return flight maneuvers, including a high-speed re-entry into Earth's atmosphere. The S-4B stage will travel about 279,000 miles into space on a 16-day elliptical Earth orbit. Due to the Moon's position at 502 launch, the stage will not actually swing around the moon. As AS-502 moved closer to its launch date, all elements of the third Saturn V flight vehicle, AS-503, were delivered to KSC from the prime contractors. The vehicle's first stage, S-1C3, arrived December 27th from Boeing Michoud in New Orleans. The second stage, S-23, was received on December 24th, following acceptance firing at Marshall's Mississippi Test Facility. The stage was built by North American Rockwell at Seal Beach, California. The third stage, S-4B-503, arrived by Super Guppy aircraft on December 30th from the McDonnell Douglas Sacramento Test Site in California. The instrument unit for the third Saturn V flight vehicle was delivered to KSC on January 4th by Super Guppy from the contractor IBM Huntsville. After inspection and checkout of the stages in IU, stacking of the AS-503 in the vehicle assembly building was accomplished by the 1st of February. Topped by a mock-up of the Apollo spacecraft, the vehicle will undergo extensive checkout before being pronounced ready for flight, scheduled later this year. The dummy spacecraft structure built by North American Rockwell was modified and prepared for flight use by the Marshall Center. The boiler plate structure, designated BP-30, will be ballasted to 89,000 pounds for the 503 flight. Since the Manned Spacecraft Center in Houston has no mission requirements for the unmanned AS-503 BP-30 flight, Marshall will have responsibility for the entire space vehicle. S-1C-4, the first stage for the fourth Saturn V flight vehicle, was moved in late December from storage in the manufacturing building at Boeing Michoud into test cell number one of the stage test building for incorporation of modifications. Delivery of the stage to KSC is due in late April. The first stage for the fifth flight vehicle is in storage at Boeing Michoud with delivery to KSC slated for June. The second, or S-2 stage, for the fourth flight vehicle was successfully captive-fired at MTF on February 10th for its full duration of six minutes to meet acceptance test requirements. 
An earlier attempt on January 30th had been terminated 17 seconds after ignition due to a ground support equipment malfunction and the Delta P tank measurements, which resulted in venting of the liquid oxygen and liquid hydrogen tanks. Following the successful firing, S24 is being readied for shipment to KSC in late April. During dye penetrant tests and x-ray inspection of the S2 stage for the fifth flight vehicle at Seal Beach, airline cracks were discovered in the liquid hydrogen tank circumferential weld. The defective area was grooved out and re-welded. After rigid reinspection using double angle x-ray and dye penetrant tests, the stage was shipped in mid-February to MTF for acceptance firing next quarter. The S22 stage was also reinspected at KSC prior to stacking, and S23 and 4 were reinspected at MTF. When hairline weld flaws were also found in the S27 stage, a decision was made to initiate an additional inspection procedure, cryogenic proof testing, on all man rated stages, starting with S24. However, depending on the success of the AS502 launch, if NASA decides to fly the third vehicle manned, the S-23 will be unstacked and sent back to MTF for the new test, which consists of proof pressure testing at cryogenic temperatures. The third stage for the fourth flight vehicle, S-4B504, was removed from storage in early January and installed in the Beta-1 test stand at SACTO for deferred post-static checkout, which is now underway. The stage will be delivered to KSC in late April. S4B505 underwent insulation rework in the vehicle checkout lab at SACTO and was returned to storage after completion of liquid hydrogen tank inspection in mid-February. The stage will undergo deferred post-static checkout and modifications in March with delivery to KSC set for late June. The instrument unit for the fourth flight vehicle was removed from storage at IBM Huntsville in early January for retest, necessary after incorporation of modifications. Retest was successfully completed in late January, and the IU is in temporary storage awaiting shipment to KSC in April. Component assembly on the instrument unit for the fifth flight vehicle began at IBM Huntsville in early January and was finished by mid-February. Following checkout, delivery of SIU-505 to KSC is scheduled in late June. Stages and instrument units for subsequent Saturn V flight vehicles continue in various phases of fabrication, assembly, checkout, and testing at contractor facilities. And even though the initial flight test of a Saturn V vehicle last quarter was successful, research and development type tests and investigations are a continuing necessity to help ensure that all possible engineering improvements will be discovered and incorporated in future vehicles. In December, a Thor missile fuel tank, which had been insulated with a spray-on foam intended for use on S2 stages, was installed at the Sacramento test site in preparation for cryogenic tanking tests. McDonnell Douglas has been contracted by NASA to conduct the test program for North American Rockwell, builders of the S2 stage. The purpose of these tests is to evaluate the new type insulation material and to verify new insulation field repair techniques. Although some delays have been encountered due to bad weather, testing is expected to be completed in March. A three-part S2 lightweight structural test program for major stage segments is underway at Marshall and Santa Susana, California. The A structure, made up of S24 type LOX tank, aft skirt, and cylinders 1 and 2, is undergoing systems installation and instrumentation at MSFC in preparation for structural testing next quarter. S24 is the first of the lightweight stages. Due to thinner propellant tank walls and lighter structures, S24 type stages will weigh about 3,000 pounds less than earlier stages, allowing a comparable increase in Saturn V vehicle payload capability. A new 64-foot-tall structural test tower is under construction at Marshall for use in testing the A structure. The stand is expected to be finished and ready for operation in April. The B structure, consisting of S24 type upper tank section, forward dome, and forward skirt, is now undergoing structural testing at Santa Susana 
with results still incomplete. Testing of the C structure, which includes S24 type aft skirt, thrust cone, and center engine beam, is in progress in the load test tower at Marshall and will continue during the next report period. All phases of the S2 lightweight structural test program are expected to be completed in September. A series of J2 engine tests now being held at the Arnold Engineering Development Center in Tullahoma, Tennessee has two primary objectives. Establishment of the lower bounds for fuel pump inlet pressure on the engine in the S2 stage configuration and verification of the J2's capability to restart satisfactorily after an S4B stage orbital coast period of 80 minutes instead of 90 minutes as presently programmed. Test results to date have been positive, but a second engine sample is scheduled to fully verify these conclusions. With the second Saturn V flight vehicle now on the launch pad, the third flight vehicle erected and in checkout, and assembly and testing of subsequent vehicles well underway, this report period witnessed continuing progress toward achievement of overall program objectives.